Well, teams at NASA Langley Research Center eagerly, eagerly welcomed Vice President Mike Pence to their facilities today. It was his first visit and they gave him a grand tour, but the visit wasn't just for fun. 13 News Now reporter Allison Basil went along for the tour and shows us the technology that will help the U.S. cover new ground in space. We are going back. The words Vice President Mike Pence announced to NASA Langley teams this afternoon in this hangar. The very same hangar, he says, Neil Armstrong learned how to land on the moon. We are going moon to Mars and Langley Research Center is going to get us there. 2024 is set to be a big year for the United States. Vice President Mike Pence says the next man and first woman will step foot on the moon, but not without help from brilliant minds in Hampton. The brilliant minds here at Langley have come up with the technologies and the methods and the theories that have made it possible for us to lead in space. Wednesday, Pence got to see those innovations during his first tour through NASA Langley Research Center. Where our guests were able to immerse themselves in, real, in what it will take to realize Artemis from arrival to precision landing. The center's program Artemis focuses on new milestones in space. Pence announced President Trump made NASA's budget a priority. Which calls for a NASA budget of more than $25 billion. It's a 12% increase. Pence says 12 billion of that is focused on the moon to Mars mission. Artemis program itself that's being developed here at Langley and NASA has, has all been a result of the president's determination to use the National Space Council to drive renewed American leadership in space. He says bipartisan support and key partnerships will take the U.S. to new heights. And now with renewed American commitment to human space exploration, with Langley at our side, America's leading in space once again. In Hampton, Allison Basil, 13 News Now. Virginia Congresswoman Elaine Luria just issued a statement reacting to Vice President's visit to NASA Langley. She said she's happy he got the chance to see what happens at the facility and that the president's recent budget proposal funds much of that work. But she also said she's disappointed that it cuts what's called the Clario Pathfinder mission, which boosts national security and plans for climate change. She hopes the tour today will make the administration reconsider the plan.